wild GTA in the build. The metric tons when it touch down. Screaming money ain't a thing, bitch, I'm rich now. What they watching is what you do on your, on your ass. I'm untouchable, feet up, I'm relaxing and smoking gas. Yeah, I turn my lifestyle upside down. It's either boss up or get boss around. Yeah. Trust yourself. Wow, G shit, man. Oh, yeah, so I, well, I got a question. You know, just to start this interview, how did you get the name YOG TA? Shit, man. Um, wow, G shit really came from, you know, just me. Like, I'm young, doing a lot of, you know, older nigga shit that, you know, a lot of older niggas that's older than me be doing, you know. And then, you know, the TA came from, you know, just my name, my regular name, you know. So Wild G stands for Young OG. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm young, but I'm an OG. Like you know what I'm saying? Because usually the OGs is the old heads, but I'm young OG. You know what I'm saying? Wild G. All right, I feel it. So, so when did you get the name? I got the name TA. Like I said, like I said, I got the name TA in like 2010, 2011. I got the wild G shit. I came up with that in like 2017. You know, it was really more of a um, a brand. You know what I'm saying it really wasn't even my name at first. It was really more of a brand. Like you know what I'm saying, Young OG. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So like, did you did you get the name by yourself or who who gave you the name? Shit, my homie. Um, Juice, my homie that passed away, Juice gave me the name. But his brother, his little brother originally gave me the name, but you know, Juice the one that stretched it, you know what I'm saying? Because I was around him more than his little brother, so he the one that stretched it, but his little brother the one that gave me the name. So I kind of understand, I'm starting to understand it. So you you young, you pay, but you more got an old soul. Right. Okay, exactly. so it makes sense, yeah. <laughs> all right, so what, all right, all right, all right. So what inspired you to do music? Man, uh, being around, like, you know what I'm saying, like, I was always around him, he was like my, my cousin, the uh, dude I'm named after, you know what I'm saying, like my real name, I'm named after somebody, and uh, he was always doing music, so I'd go over there, he always doing music and shit, so it just really made me intrigued to it. And shit, then my uncle used to live with us. He was doing music, and I always loved music. I always was a fan of, you know, the, the lyrics and the beat, and the lifestyle of the, you know, the rappers and shit. I always loved music, so, you know what I'm saying? It made me want to start writing. I started writing. And when I started writing, I shit, uh, it, it became more of a habit to the point, like, like a, um, a activity to me. Like, you know, motherfuckers go hoop. I'm gonna go to the studio, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, so you're like a, a poet or something. Right, exactly. Okay, so even on the music tip, with all the scandals going on, such as the Michael Jackson and R. Kelly stuff, would you rather be underground or more commercial? Shit, man, um, I feel like the underground, you know, I can still be me more as far as in like, won't be getting so much media attention, you know, it's the backlash with shit that come with being some, a celebrity and shit, but, you know, everybody want to be commercial so they can get that, that commercial money, you know what I'm saying, that, that industry money, but I really ain't never pictured myself being in the industry, I just really picture myself being underground, you know, being known in the industry, but not one of the top dogs, you know what I'm saying, because that really don't fit me, I feel like. So pretty much have your own label. You know, have like Young Dolph. Yeah, I can say that, but you know, Young Dolph, he ain't commercial, but he mainstream. You know what I'm saying? I can. So it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? That's a, you know, that's a good one right there, man. You know, uh, shit. I can picture myself a, a Young Dolph type model. You know what I'm saying? But I really couldn't picture myself as in like, shit, um, Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, I can be great like Jay Z, but I couldn't picture myself being commercialized like Jay Z. You know okay. what I'm saying? I feel that. Okay, I see that. Yeah. So who do you actually look up to in the music industry? Like, who give you that drive? Shit, um, I, I could say like Gucci. Gucci, that's a good number one. Number one, number one, Gucci. That's number one. Shit, uh, Gucci. Dog. God damn it, um, uh, Jay-Z. 
50 Cent. But why, why Jay-Z? Yeah, that's my top five. Why Jay-Z? Because, you know, Jay-Z, you know, I can relate to his story more of, uh, you know, he came from the bottom, you know. Had to do what he had to do to get to the top. God damn it. He doing, he doing ecstatic at the top. God damn it. Billionaire, god damn it. So, shit. I can picture me a Jay-Z and, and financially, you know, but as far as, you know, industry type, I couldn't picture me a Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? So such as Jay-Z, you know how you own Rockefeller, do you picture yourself starting a major label, record label like Cash Money, Young Money, or Rockefeller? Uh, I couldn't picture me starting a, a label, but... Like I said, man, I don't really want to do all that. You know what I'm I would stay, you know, low key, underground, you know, get to the bag. Instead of, you know, have all that attention on me, but if it comes down to it, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I know I got the, the business mindset and the, the leadershipness to create a label, you know what I'm saying? And to be great, but I really don't focus on that because that ain't my focus, and I really want to, like, you know, be the, the business type of Jay-Z when it comes to starting up shit, like businesses. You know, Rockefeller is a business, not just a record label, it's a business, you know what I'm saying? People gotta realize, like, all this music shit is a business, you know? It ain't just like motherfuckers doing music, they actually running their business, it's a career for them, you know what I'm saying? So, that's all I really focus on is starting my career, doing something I wanna do and not doing something I have to do, you feel me? Make money off doing what I want to do. I can see that. All right. So, so outside of the music and everything else you got going on with music, let's not let's get off the music topic right now. What else do you got going on? Shit, man, I got a lot going on. You know, I'm being a, I'm a brother, goddammit. I'm a son. I ain't got no kids, goddammit. But you know, I got a lot of responsibilities in life, so just. Making sure that all that shit handled before anything, you know what I'm saying? Making sure everybody's straight and comfortable and, you know what I'm saying? Making sure I'm doing what I can do in life as a man, you feel me? Making sure I'm handling business, man. You feel me? Wild G shit. That's my soul. <laughs> now, also, I do see that you associate yourself with a couple of local artists and such as Dash. That's his name, right? Dash, Dash Smith? Yeah, that's Dash, FK, King Elijah. All right, other art, artists such as C-Lot, TJB, and the whole DTB, like, what you got going on with them? Oh, you know, Dash, that's like my boy right there, man. That's, you know, that's gang gang. C-Lot, that's gang. Everybody gang, you know, if I fuck with them up for today, in my circle, like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep the squares out your circle, so if I fuck with them up for today, in my circle, man, you know? You know, but um, I could say, you know, um, you know, my relationship with Dash Smith and C Lock and them, you know, them, them my people's first. We, we, you know, we blood related type shit, you know, so it make that even stronger when you come, you know, motherfucker got the same interest in life. We all want to do the same thing. That make it stronger. That make the bond stronger, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I could say, you know, who he is. You know, we just a gang, you know, we just gang, you know, we just all, you know, living life. Got the same focus in life, and that's making it to the top off of what we want to do and what we got going on, and that's this music shit. Well, like, you know, not to cut you off, time getting short, but you know, besides, you know, everything that was said, is there any type of message that you would like to relate to your fans or advice um, before we end this interview? Shit, man, uh, I want everybody, you know, the youth, the young with the teenagers and be smart like you know make a decision that's gonna last you feel me just be smart you know think of think on what you're gonna do think about your next move just it's chess not checkers you know always remember that